You are bombarded with negative stuff every day that beats you down and you will find yourself unconsciously engaged in self-destructive behavior. If you don't program yourself, life will program you. You want to have an agenda for your life. It's necessary that you have some direction for your life. A friend um, at the National Speakers Convention gave us presentation and it really struck me. He was talking about when he was traveling across Europe, Warren Gresson, and he said at different points, soldiers would wake them up on their journey and ask him the question. And I pose this to you. The question was, where have you been? Why are you here? And where are you going? And that's what I ask you. Where have you been? Where have you been up to this point? You look at your life. You look at what you produce. Is it giving you what you want? Are you living on purpose? Are you living your dream? Are you acting on your ideas? Are you doing all you can do? Have you gotten comfortable? Are you procrastinating? Are you evading your own greatness? Are you surrounding yourself with people that can nourish you? Are you challenging yourself? Are you experimenting? Are you learning something different? Is your life an adventure or is it boring? Where have you been? Why are you here? What brought you here? Investing the time, the money. What brought you here? And where are you going? What is it that you can get out of this session, out of this lecture? That when you leave here, rather than this just being a spectator event, that you got some idea, some dream, that you might have to go back and brush it off and look at it again. And say, I've got to do this. This is my stuff. This is what I'm supposed to do. This is why I showed up. Where are you going with your life? What decisions are you making right now as you look into the future? Are you experimenting to find out what other talents and abilities that you have? See, we're in a time right now. The day is gone where you could just go to college and get out and, and get a job and work 30 or 40 years with job security and retire with a gold watch. The gold watch days are gone. You have got to be multi-talented and multi-skilled. You've got to use all your stuff. You don't know what else you can do. I don't know I can do what I'm doing right now. It's necessary that you stretch and challenge yourself and say, let me see. I start out as a trainer. I'm a trainer. That's what I am. That's what my expertise was in. And then I decided, let me see, can I speak? And then I discovered, hey, I can do that. What if I hadn't tried to do that and just been satisfied with just being a trainer with a limited vision of myself? And then after training, and then I said, well, maybe I can go into business for myself. And I started speaking, going into business for myself. Well, maybe I could train other speakers and teach them how to go into business for themselves. So you want to have a backup plan. You want to have other strategies for yourself. In case this doesn't work out, you got something else going over here. You don't want to ever put yourself in a, vision, in a situation where you have a limited vision and you're only using a limited amount of your talents, of your skills, and of your abilities. And I'm saying to you, it's possible you've got some talents, some ideas in you, your ability to do some stuff that you haven't even discovered yet. And I'm suggesting that it's necessary that you get outside of your comfort zone. It's necessary that you develop some new relationships where you can learn from people. It's necessary that you do reading, that you do research. It's necessary if you're already involved in some business that you don't be satisfied with where you are. If you want to make it today, it's necessary for you to constantly look at ways of getting better. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream and it's necessary for you to challenge yourself to go after it and get better and leverage relationships that can help you get to where you want to go, but it's you. The major key to your reaching your dream, your living up to your greatness, your making your contribution is you. If the economy is good, fantastic. If the banks are loaning money, that's great. If people are positive, that's great. You don't have any opposition, that's great. But the major key to your making things happen in your life is you. Find out how do the people do it that went ahead of me? How do they do it? And then what is it I need to do? How is it I need to train myself to develop myself? What's the resources that will be required in order to make it happen? And as I start seeking out and asking questions, I started running into people saying, I know someone who can help you do that. And they helped me get connected with those people. Remember, we have so much energy that can take us so far. It's necessary that you hook up with some other energy that can take you to the next level. I hooked up with them. They said, let's, let's go. I said, away we go. <laughs> And guess 
guess what? Here we are. <laughs> I love it. You want your stuff? It's necessary you take responsibility for it. That you make it happen, that you don't give up, that you don't take any objection or disappointment or defeats personally, that you keep on keeping on, that you don't decide that I can't make it because you can't see the light at the end of the tunnel, that you realize that's a part of the program. And here's something you've got to resolve. Say this to yourself every day. See, as long as you're breathing, you got a shot at your dream. That's the way I resolve. Say this, please. It's not over. Until I win. You got that right. It's not over till I win. Not over till I get through. It's not over till I get over. Not over till I get what I want. Door can't open today, look out. I'm gonna come back and take the hinges off. That's that's how you gotta do that. You've got to have that kind of courage, that type of determination. If you want to make it happen, it's you. That you've got to take personal responsibility to make it happen. That you have got to, to own what it is that you want to do. If it's taking care of your well-being, if it's making a difference in our school system, if it's working with senior citizens, if it's to protect our ecology, if it's to create an economic renaissance, if it's just to take yourself to another level, it's you. You've got to make that happen. We can point out many things that can make it inconvenient or can slow us down. But ultimately, it's on us. Next step is, not only is it possible and necessary, and it's you to live your dream, to make this, this greatness that you have within you become a reality, but what I've come to appreciate when you're working on changing your life, changing some bad habit, getting out of addictive situations or relationships or working to build a dream or making a difference in our society or learning something that's very challenging. Here's what I, I realized, ladies and gentlemen, and develop a great deal of respect for. It's hard. Easy is not an option. It's hard living. Life is hard. See, it's hard when when you are 49 years old, been working on a job for 17 years, and they come in and tell you you're finished and give you one week severance pay, and you got to start all over again. It's hard when you're married and raising children, and your children are crawling, and your husband dies unexpectedly. It's hard handling just the tragedies of life. It's hard. When you're working on something and, and you put everything you have in it and it doesn't work out, you must have faith. You've got to believe in yourself. You've got to believe in your abilities. You've got to believe in your service, your company, your ideas, unquestionably. You've got to have faith and that faith gives you patience. That is not going to happen as quickly as you want it to happen. A lot of things are going to happen that will catch you off guard. And so therefore you've got to deal with and handle it as it comes. And not only that, but that faith and patience drives you into action. You've got to keep moving and keep plugging away. In the Far East, they have something that's called the Chinese bamboo tree. The Chinese bamboo tree takes five years to grow. And when they go through a process of growing it, they have to water and fertilize the ground where it is every day. And it doesn't break through the ground until the fifth year. Okay? But once it breaks through the ground, within five weeks, it grows 90 feet tall. Now the question is, does it grow 90 feet tall in five weeks or five years? The answer is obvious. It grows 90 feet tall in five years. Because at any time had that person stopped watering and nurturing and fertilizing that dream, that bamboo tree would have died in the ground. And I can see people coming out talking to a guy. 
out there watering and fertilizing the ground that's not showing anything. Hey, what you doing? You've been out here a long time, man. And the conversation in the neighborhood is, you growing a Chinese bamboo tree, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Well, um, even Ray Charles and Stevie Wonder can see ain't nothing showing. <laughs> you know that's how people are gonna do you? So how long have you been working on this? How long have you been working on your dream? It's good. And you have nothing to show. This is all you got to show? People are gonna do that to you. And some people, ladies and gentlemen, they stop. Because they don't see instant results. It doesn't happen quickly. They stop. Oh, no, 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 no. You got to keep on watering your dream. And when it began to happen, they stopped laughing. They said, look, whoa, look, look here. It's, look up. Hey, man, you know, I know you could do it. Look, you, could, you got a job here.